everybody, welcome to Straight Legendary, the show where I tell everybody about my creative projects and I help you with your creative projects. Today, I'm here with Jamal. This is incredible. <laughs> this is incredible that I'm here with you today. This is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Yeah. And you know why? You know what the most incredible part about this? What is that? Is that I don't know how many of our subscribers out there know this, but it was you and I who came up with the straight legendary concept to, be, to begin with. I was I was waiting for you to get to that. I was wondering. I was like, yeah, let's let's get to I'm, I'm glad. No, no, we did, we did. It was it was uh me and Steph, we've been collaborating since day one, since we met each other. Um, his old job and my current job are the same. We're, we're brothers <laughs> working at a, a church as early job directors. So yes, we just yes. had an instant connection and he's super creative. I'm super creative, and we've just been collabing on projects from day one. From day one, yeah. I, I, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy because when I remember when we were first, when we first moved out here to California. Because this, uh, by the way, this episode of Straight Legendary is on location on the West Coast of What's California. <laughs> well, when, when I lived in California for a little while, uh, full time, and I remember when we first uh, started, uh, you know, looking at where we were going to go to church at. We looked up, you know, uh, we looked up the rock. Where, where you are now, and um, I remember uh, seeing you on the staff page, yeah, yeah. and I was like, "Wait, the early childhood director is a black guy?" <laughs> I was like, "It's like my doppelganger," right? <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then when I met you, and you was like, "Yeah, I got all these incredible creative ideas, and I'm doing this side hustle, I'm doing that side hustle. Oh yeah, and we're gonna do puppets." And I was like. We, we did puppets. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was really cool. Yeah. yeah, it was like so. I think I was like I think I met the West Coast version of Steph. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I met the East Coast version of Jay. So just, just a little shorter, but it's all good. <laughs> it is all good. It it's is all, all good. Yeah, it's super good. It's good. So, um, but one of the reasons we created Straight Legendary was you know one for talking about all the different creative projects that we work on, talking about all the different creative projects that we want to work on, um, and then also to inspire you to continue working on your projects or to just get your projects started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I think the, the best description of Straight Legendary was a megaphone. You know, we have, we have all these things going on that, you know, that we wanted to, to let everybody know what's happening. So the best description, I think, when we were coming over, like, we need, like, this megaphone that, you know, just, just kind of announce, like, hey, this is what's going on, and, and, and again, inspire other people, you know? Every, anytime you see somebody with a megaphone, it's inspiring, kind of, or terrifying. <laughs> Either way, you're gonna follow instructions from whoever has the <laughs> megaphone. <laughs> Well, we hope that ours is mostly inspiring, mostly, mostly. And, you know, and a little terrifying. Right. You need a little fear you know, that sometimes just kicks in. A little here. bit, you know. <laughs> then then well, we've got to, you got to point We've and accomplished and our job. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is well, this is so cool. So, okay, so we've got a little bit about the history of how you and I came together. Why don't you tell everybody in the straight legendary uh, a fan base? about you know your creative projects different things that you've worked on and been involved in throughout your creative career yeah so um uh it's been a lot it's been a lot i i think mainly what i'm working on right now is i'm, I'm working on a book to kind of help creative people get things done because for so long i've i've wanted to to get things done i just didn't know how and so after like you know hitting wall after wall after wall not not even to anybody's fault to my fault because i really didn't know how to navigate so uh that's that's the biggest thing i'm working on right now is, is, a, is, is a book i'm not going to release the title yet because <laughs> when i wanted to jack me i know how you create with role you know <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding but um as far as like um just the beginnings of all that uh i think steph Hooking up with Steph really helped me kind of um, get going on a lot of things, mainly because of what I've kind of con contributed to kind of helping, you know, the, the beginning stages of Project 365. TCE! And, 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 try, <laughs> and trying to, you know, figure out, you know, how to get the most bang for a buck and, and resources and, and really just strategizing and working with people. Because I've, I've always worked with people, it just never panned out, you know? So I think it was just the repetition of of, all right, that didn't work. Let's you know work with this person. Let's work with this person. And stuff just started coming together. I was like, wow, this is this is great. This is what happens when you, when you do that. So um, I've I've also I screen print. I I 
did that a little bit before I, I, mm-hmm. I met T- you. T-shirts and, and T-shirts, and, mm-hmm. um, whatever else you can garment. I guess you want to call <laughs> it. <laughs> get your garments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your garments. <laughs> that is, get your gar- <laughs> <laughs> we don't wear clothes. No, as straight legendary. We don't. We, we wear, wear garments. garments. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, screen printing and, and, and doing that, that, that's been fun. I've definitely uh, learned how to work with people as far as on the business side of things, following through, you know, kind of, um, you know, being a, being a person of your word, you know, not trying to cheat, trying to cut any corners because that stuff comes out later. So having, having that business side with the creative side is just like a perfect mix of like, all right, let's go and take over the world. Kind yeah, of. yeah. I know that's one of the things that I have always uh, struggled with is mixing the business with the creative, trying to make sure, okay, a lot of the things that I do as a creative freelancer, as a creative business owner with TCE, as a, co- a creative collaborator with a lot of the different things that we've worked on, is that uh, you have to have the business in place. You gotta secure the bag. You have to secure the bag. Secure the bag, Steph. Yes. I tell you guy all the time, man. Secure the bag. You making money on this, man? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, but it's right. You know, like we do. We, we pour a lot of uh, a lot of ourselves and our expertise into our projects, yeah. and you know, we do have to make sure that everything is lined up on the back end. Yeah. You know, because if you don't have all your you know your ducks in a row, as you mentioned, you know things can fall apart. You can have a great, amazing, creative project, but if things aren't you know set up on the back end, then you know that creative project can go on only but so far. Yeah, and then, you know starting out, you know everybody starts out you know on the intern level, on the entry level, you know. But as you as you rank up, you know, and as you you know have some experience under your belt, then it's time to start like leveling up and sure. be like, hey, all right, now right. <laughs> I pay my dues, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now my dues gotta pay me, you yeah, know. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, and that's something that's actually a, a straight legendary episode that I would love to do is talk about when you are ready to monetize your creative talents, you know? I mean, you can do, um, you know, you can t- <laughs> day, day zero, day actually. Zero. <laughs> so day one, you don't know how to get them. But, you know, you do, you do a lot of stuff for, you do a lot of stuff, you know, for yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. For free, for friends and family and everything like that. But it does come to a time, and I know there's a lot of photographers out there that I know, you know, who do a lot of recreational photography, but they've also, you know, taken the steps to say, listen, you know, I can do your uh, wedding, I can do your graduation pics, and even if it's friends and family, you, you gotta it's call still them. A, there's still a fee, there's still, you know? <laughs> it's still you a get fee. that friends and family <laughs> fee. Friends and but... family discount, you yeah, know? Yeah. Um, but, there, but, there is a, but there is an entire straight legendary episode that we're gonna do, that we're gonna talk about how to you know, take your passion and make a little money off of it. So, what? am I gonna be on that one? No, I'm not. I'm no, not watching. You're, you're not. <laughs> no, watch that episode. Skip. <laughs> Come on, man. Episode next. <laughs> no. Come on, support the brand, man. <laughs> support the brand. <laughs> so, uh, but that's so. But, but that's really cool to hear about. You know how you got started and how things are coming along. Yeah, and yeah. The way you're approaching this. And I'm really excited today because we're gonna talk about something that you mentioned is working with other people in collaboration and how to make that work, you know, some of the ups and downs of that, and just some of the ways that we can use um, collaborative efforts to really, you know, enhance what we're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, So, but before we do that, we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, This is Straight Legendary. We'll see you on the other side. More straight legendary. Right. I'm here with Jamal J Cafe, aka one of the true pioneers of both Team Bandwagon, AOE, and this show right here, Straight Legendary. That's what's up. As always, it's not to have you here. So, yeah, yeah. um, we're talking about 
So we're finally gonna talk about what we sat down and talk we're about. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna talk about <laughs> Yes! Yeah. We had to do the intro. We I gotta know, keep the people know, coming, man. you know? know? We gotta keep the people really? interested. I do any shorter intros, man. <laughs> nah, I like I like nah, long intros. Yeah. I like long, drawn we out, like rambling intros. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, this the, the episode's good. gonna be over time, but you know, I don't care. Just keep the people listening, right? It's all great. Keep them listening. So, but let's talk about this. Let's talk about collaboration. Collab. Right now, you've collaborated. Best collabs of all time. Best collab. Nah. <laughs> Shaq and Kobe. Shaq, Shaq and Kobe. <laughs> Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe. Pass the rock. Pass the rock. Pass the rock. Pass the rock. Nah, Shaq and Charles Shaq, is the best. Shaq, Shaq the best. and Charles. Oh, Shaq yes. and Charles. Shaq and Charles. For TNT. TNT. <laughs> TNT. <laughs> it's the best collaboration ever. Hey, man. It keeps you laughing. Hey, it keeps definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So. <laughs> or, or, all right. Let me, let's let's you, get you back. Had some, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's stay on track. You've had some collabs, right? And collaborations and working with, you know, creative projects, collaboration comes in a lot, you yeah, know? Yeah. So. Um, we wanted to give some of the people out there some um, tips and advantages of collaborating. Yeah, yeah. And you have some 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 things you want to you want to say. Um, to I would, I don't mean, okay. I'm not the expert on this at, by far. Don't say you know, that you are. I, I am not the expert. You know, usually you know on shows we bring in experts, but <laughs> Steph's budget is a little uh, on the zero side. So this is who you got. All right, this is who you got. I would I would pick you over a lot of other people, <laughs> known and unknown. All right, so um, <laughs> first, I'll say the, the best approach to collaborating is is first knowing who you are and what okay. you bring to the table. Okay. Kind of focusing okay. on yourself. Um, I I that's that's a big thing for me. I make sure you know I'm I'm always reading. I'm always learning. I'm always kind of elevating Jamal. You know, mm -hmm. to, to always be a better version of Jamal. There's no, like, Jamal from 2015, 2015, 2011. It's, it's every year, every every year there's an upgrade where, right. you know, I'm learning something new, I'm trying something I can't new. wait to meet the Jamal from 2026. Right? It's, it's going to be it's a cyborg, you know? <laughs> this is a Borg from uh, Star Trek, you know? Assimilate. Assimilate. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I would say the, the best approach um, to collaborating is just kind of focusing on yourself. You know, mm -hmm. knowing your strengths and weaknesses. You know, and you that's before you come. Well, to the before you even, before you even come to the table. You know, <laughs> that way you're secure on who you are. You're not, you know, you're not chasing after things that don't matter to you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're you're syncing up with projects that that align with, with your passions. You know. Because if you don't know, you're going to end up in a place where like, man, why am I even doing this? Right. You know, <laughs> halfway through and it's like, you just wasted your time, you wasted mm -hmm. other people's time. Yeah. So, and, and in order to cut all that out, I would say, you know, the best approach is just to kind of know who you are. That's interesting that you say that because what happens when someone, you know, is super excited about some idea, something that they want to do, and they come to you and it's like, hey man, you would be amazing to collaborate with this. And you're kind of like, ah. <laughs> Yeah, you get that a lot. You get that a lot. And I'm like, a lot of people oh, want you on their team. Yeah, I'm like, no. You know, I can hook you up with, with somebody else, you know. And I think that's, that's interesting. A, okay, that's yeah, a, uh, sure. Uh, I think that's an uh, episode within itself as far as like networking and connecting. Because mm -hmm. that's one thing that I, I found that I do great at. You know, I, 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 I listen to people when they talk and I kind of see where people's needs are. So then as I'm talking, somebody's interested and sheet metal work and I'm like oh you know this person this, this contractor over here oh you know hey let me yeah. hook you guys up yeah and then from there I you know I'm not I'm not you know Mr. Matchmaker oh you know what do you say <laughs> oh make sure you you know I'm just like hey I, I made my connection you know and, and yeah. but um back to back to what you're saying about yeah. the uh, being super excited about it uh, a project yeah, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not, <laughs> you know, not my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. politely turn them down, or you right, know, right, or I ask, you know, what the budget is, and then we go from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, at that point, it's a little bit less of a collaboration, yeah, and more, it's more of a, 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 a business, a business, a business, business transaction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that, well, that's really interesting, though. I mean, that's uh, something that I think a lot of creatives, you know, kind of struggle with, where they have a talent, someone sees your talent, and then someone says, I could use that talent. Yeah. And what it is is people. People, people want to be busy, you know, people want to be busy doing stuff, you know, you want to be active, you don't want to just be sitting, and, and you know, that's a good thing just not to sit, but um, just don't just be biting on everything or anything mm -hmm. that comes across your path, because before you know it, you're going to be working on a lot of things you don't, you're not, you, you don't 
really you're aren't not interested. that in, enthusiastic about yeah. yourself. Yeah, you're sure. not really you know that that much invested in, and right. then you know other stuff that 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 could use your talents or people you know you could re really be helping to make mm -hmm. an impact. Um, they're they're missing out. Awesome. All right. Next, what else do you want to tell us about collaboration? Something that could be helpful when we're thinking about collaboration. All right, again, I'm not an expert. I just play one on TV. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. Um, the next one is, is still kind of focused on you because I think that's, that's like half of, more than half of the transaction of a collaboration. You know, you bring in a half, oh, person bring in. You can't control that other person. You can only control you. And so, um, the next point I, I guess I want to harp on or focus on is is giving more than you receive. Okay. You know, because we we've all had that friend who who always need a ride, <laughs> who always need gas, always just needs something. You know, <laughs> you just know when that phone rings, you're like, dang, what is this dude? Oh, that. You know, <laughs> and 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 as you know, they're, they're friends. This we're friends for. We're here to help our friends, you know, so if you are, if you are that person, Steph's not hey, gonna hey, eye, eye contact hey, with hey, you. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey. But, um, but always, always give more than, than you receive because, because that way you're, you're viable, you know, that mm -hmm. way, you know, you know that, that you bring value to the table, that, that, that way you know that you're not always, you're not looked as, as that person like, dang, what is this person want, you know? Mm -hmm. You're you're kind of in the opposite of like, hey, what can this person give me? So you attract you attract the other people, you know, mm -hmm. and and you gotta you know filter out and see like, you know, how things work out with them. But but it's always it, you know it's it's biblical, you know, always give always mm -hmm. you know give better than yeah. receive, you know. <laughs> yeah. And and, and, so, it, and it, it, it sounds it sounds like a marriage. <laughs> like you wanna you wanna. <laughs> <laughs> will you minus, minus will, some will, benefits. will you Jamal <laughs> take, take me to be your <laughs> lawfully wedded oh business partner God. in collaboration? <laughs> this got real awkward. <laughs> but, Super awkward. But 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 you talk about the idea that if you're if 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 you know, I look at it as, not look at it, but I feel like one of the, you know, examples of this we see is like, again, someone has this amazing idea. Oh man, I got this idea and you can help me with it. Yeah. And then you start getting into it and, and you realize that you're doing lifting. all the heavy lifting. You're doing all the work. Right, and then you talk to the other person like, hey man, so uh, when are you gonna, you know, pitch in? And they're like, I am pitching in. I had this idea and I had that idea. The idea guy. <laughs> it's like, the idea. I hate that idea, idea guy. guy. Right, it's like I it has all the that. ideas, right? Yeah. You know? And so when you talk about making sure you bring as much, if not more, to the table than the other people that you're collaborating with, that just you know speaks to this idea of everyone bringing their best. If mm -hmm. everyone is bringing that type of mentality, yeah. that's going to be a great project. <laughs> you know, yeah. if everyone is thinking I'm going to bring more to the table, yeah. and not with the you know not with the idea of saying like since I bought more I get more say, but just with the idea of being able to say look like I'm giving it my all. I'm yeah. trying to make things as successful as possible. And if everyone is doing that, then you know things are going to work out really yeah. well. Yeah. You know? So that those are the best claps. Like I know I get. 110. Steph gives 105, which you know, but he still, he still gives, you know. And so, you know, that every was, time that was, was that one was sneaky, man. That was sneaky. Hey, you give it over 100. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's that's the definition of a backhanded is it, compliment. Is, is that it, the definition? Is it not, is it not over 100? Compliment? It's over 100, it's, bro. That's all I'm saying, man. You're not going to get me to agree. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, those, those are the perfect, you know, you just talk about marriage, you want to marry me. But honestly, when we when we going on a project straight legendary, we know, like, it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. Yeah. It's gonna be dope. So for sure, for sure. All right. Um, anything else you want to, you know, give us uh, to talk, talk to us about it, uh, I would say, collaborating? I would say the last room, the last, this, this isn't really a practical, like, you know, A, B, C, and D, you know, this is more theoretical, you know, a lot of focusing on, on the, the, the portion of you can't control yourself, you know, and, and the last one I would say is no room for jealousy, you know, like, as, yeah. as, as you're contributing to a project, let's say your name isn't on a project, you know, uh, let's say I'm, you know, I'm, I'm contributing to, to uh, the creative extreme, you know, definitely Steph is, is, is heading that up, 
and I'm contributing and that as getting shine, I can't be like, well, you know, I did, you know, <laughs> did help on such and such character, you know. <laughs> now there's no there's no room for that, you know, mm -hmm. like if he shines, I'm shining, every everybody gets shine, you know? And so I I would I was I would end on that as far as, you know, you're the jealous kind of person who wants control and yeah. wants all the attention. Collabs is not gonna be here. Right. I think. Part for you. I think it's. I, I think that's always. I mean, you can look at. There's two examples when you talk about that. I look at one, and these are very big common examples. One is, you know, film, filmmaking, right? Mm -hmm. Usually, what do you hear? Such and such film made by Steven Spielberg yeah, or yeah. you know Spike Lee or Ava DuVernay. You know, it's like. Yeah, that person was the director, yeah. but hundreds of people collaborated to make that film Probably come a together. People. Probably thousands, yeah, yeah, thousands of people collaborate to make that to make that film come together. And all of those people who worked on that film, they're not sitting there like, oh, they want to talk about Steven Spielberg. <laughs> they never talk about me, you know. And, and it's like, no, they're they're proud of that film that came out, yeah. even if they don't get all of the you know accolades that you know. The, the, the director and the producer might get her the studio. And then the other is I look at sports teams, right? Yeah. Um, the biggest star on a team usually gets a lot of shine and yeah, they're the most talented and, and they, you know, contribute the most in points way or, 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 or different stat, yeah, stat yeah. in the stats way, but the team couldn't win without everyone else on the team. True. Even those players who don't necessarily play a lot during the actual games, the team doesn't do well if they don't practice well. Yeah. They don't practice and so so the other members of that team, they have to be there to make sure these practices are going well. You can't practice with just your starters. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, need, you need your other players. Yeah. So um, if you are somebody who is not willing to become, you know, a cog in the machine, then you're not ready to collaborate. And I'm a huge believer that collaboration is the key to doing to, to, to doing projects yeah. to the next level. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you can I mean, you can do but so much on your own. Yeah. And, you and, know. And then once like like yes, once something starts heading in a direction and it, and it has some momentum going forward, that that person with with jealousy tends to start sabotaging mm -hmm. and start hurting the the team and hurting the project. Where it's like, hey, you know, you're you're not helping us move forward. You're you're holding us back. Right you now. And so that's that. But you don't want to be the person who's holding back a potential yeah, great project. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you know? you don't want to be that person. You know, there's some some things get a little shine. Like, hey, we need another one of those. And you're like, well, right. My pinky kind of hurts, so I can't really. <laughs> you don't want to be one of those. You know, <laughs> you got you got you got a pink, you got pinky pain. Nah, you got you got you got, no, no. got some pinky pain. You got a, you got a hangnail there or something like that. Nah, you know, so nah I'm, I'm good. You need I'm a, good. <laughs> I'm good. I, I, I right. went to the uh, to the nail lady. You need earlier. a mani? Got all oh, got some oh, mani. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. She was taking up my feet too. <laughs> Bust out the buzz song. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now all I'm imagining is like fingernail clippings like spraying all over the place. She has, she has she the face shield face too. <laughs> so we're just the, like the welding, the welding mask. <laughs> and she, just, she, she didn't have to like hold it. She just you know, <laughs> snap it down. All right, so place. this is officially going way off the rails. Way off the rails. But it's okay. Um, collaboration. This has been an amazing c c conversation about collaboration. Um, I want to thank you for joining me on Straight Legendary. Thank you for joining you on my show, on our show. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> This just got real uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, between marrying and, and, and Steph thanking me for and, coming on and, my and, and fingernail clippings. Yeah. So um but <laughs> so I wanna so let's so then let's whip it around to these people. Thank you for joining us for Straight Legendary. Yeah. And also, you know, if you have any more tips and tricks on collaborating, please just comment below. Yes. And let me know because I am far far not the expert. Yeah, but you're pretty good at it. You're pretty good at it. So I, yes, I'm let, all right. us, let us know in the YouTube comments. Let us know in the Facebook comments. Uh, you can follow us there. Also, follow Straight Legendary on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, eventually, there's an Instagram page coming, and there might be a Twitter page coming. But eventually. for now, just follow us where we are. Uh, feel free to share the video. Like it's like, like 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 Jamal suggested. Comment. Let us know what your ideas on collaboration is. Also, you can let us know what we can talk about. Any questions that you have about creativity, about collaboration 
information about entrepreneurial uh, entrepreneurship. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'll get it. You okay? I got it. I got it. I got it. I can get it. Um, and we would love to answer your questions and talk to you about the different things that you're working on, the different things that you want to work on. Um, but as far as uh, I think that's it. We're good. Uh, we're, we're finished collaborating for this episode. Is there like a tagline? Yeah, there is a tagline. <laughs> Can you let me know? Yeah, I'm kind of part of the show, this too. This is part of the show tagline. Uh, this is straight legendary. <laughs> See, now, well, I help you. Now, well, I help, help me. Help, me. help you. Now, help those around you <laughs> with your creative projects. <laughs> My name is Steph. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> And with, and, with that, and with that, with that, we're gonna sign off. I'm Steph T, uh, <laughs> aka Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah, brother. Hey, <laughs> imagination without limitation is the only expectation. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> the legend grows. <laughs> the legend grows. Huzzah! Oh All right, God. we're done with this one. <laughs>